example 23, a rectangular channel carries a discharge of 17.6 cubic meters per second when flowing to a depth of 1.2 meters. If the width of the canal is 10 meters, compute the following, the minimum specific energy, the normal slope if roughness coefficient is 0.014, the average boundary shearing stress. Take note, this is a rectangular channel. Therefore, the minimum specific energy is 3 halves of the critical depth. And the critical depth for rectangular channel is cube root of small q square, quantity small q square over g. Where small q is capital Q, 17.6 divided by width of the canal, which is 10. So 1.76 cubic meters per second per meter width of channel. So substitute into this formula, a minimum is 3 halves of quantity cube root of 1.76 square over 9.81. So from there, we can now compute the minimum specific energy. 1.021 meters. The, the normal slope if n is 0 0.014. So remember, Q is area to the 5 thirds, slope to the 1 half, over n perimeter to the 2 thirds. So if we derive a formula for slope by squaring everything, then it is n, Q, n square Q square perimeter to the 4 thirds over area to the 10 thirds. So, where area is 10 times 1.2, so 12 square meters, and perimeter is 10 plus 2 times depth of flow, 1.2, so 12.4. Substitute here, because everything is known. So, S is 0 0.014 square times 17.6 square, 12.4 to the 4 thirds over 12 to the 5, 12 to the 10 thirds. Solving for S, S is 0 0.0004405. Finally, the average boundary shearing stress, that's specific weight of water, hydraulic radius times slope. Specific weight of water, hydraulic radius times slope. So 9,810 newtons per cubic meter, 12 over 12.4, area over wetted perimeter, then slope. So the average boundary shearing stress is 4.182. Pascals.